Is there any evidence of a drought during Elijah's day? You know, this is one of the interesting things that they have figured out how to study. So in archaeology, you go down and you dig down and you can get to periods of past civilizations, right? Different strata. And so when you go down, you look for fossils or pollen samples from what kind of plant life was grown in that time. And you can figure out what was the rain amounts like. So if you're finding pollen or, or fossils of plants that required a lot of water, then guess what? You know that that region received a lot of rain. But if all of a sudden the plant life as you're digging deeper going back in time suddenly turns to where only dry like super dry climates can sustain that then you know that there's a period of drought and what you find when you go down in the strata of Israel is there something that happens in what's called the Bronze Age collapse which happens before King David where everything just goes dry, like a massive drought that lasts a, an intense amount of time that destroys entire civilizations, the Egyptians, the Assyrians. I mean, they all get rocked by this. Then it recovers, and then you see another major drought that happens right during the time of Elijah that actually registers in the strata.